Hi everyone, in a short video I'm going to show you how you can access Microsoft Power Apps, a tool that actually allows you to create your application without writing uh, actually no code or very low code and you do not need to know c -sharp or .NET or the other. You just create the application there. I'm going to show you some possibility about the pricing and also how you can uh, create some the environmental of the Power Apps. So uh, first of all, yep, you need to have sign in. Uh, we have different plans there. Plan one that actually is seven dollar per month, or the forty dollar per month. So they have different services, access to the sharing the data, the access to common data services, and the other. However, if you want to access to all of these things, but you want to test it for 30 days, you can access the free trial here. So you will be at, you able to create the app and share it with other and access to some of features. But however, uh, if you just want to browse it and uh, you do not want to use it for a commercial, that means that you create an app, but you don't want it to share it with other people, there is a community one that actually uh, if you look at here you uh, able to access the environment but you don't able to share it but it's good to exploring the environment and see that what we have there so i'm going to actually uh, to show you some of the environment that we have here so this is free very individual and uh, just to work with that you need to provide a work or a student's uh, email address. It shouldn't be Gmail or Yahoo or the other. So here I use the one. So I use my community one that is based on my name. I'm not going to use the Rodacard one. This is just for the personal. So I'm going to create an app here. Uh, just you see that here you're able to create the apps from blank or you can use some other template. I use the blank one. Here you have the option to create tablet or phone. I just colleague apps power apps introduction so it's a phone and it's going to provide an environment for me that actually i'm able to create my microsoft power apps over there so here you are just take a couple of minutes to come up so this is my uh, actually my environment here so now i'm going to uh, access the to create a uh, here to create something here okay so in this video as I mentioned so here is my screen here uh, I just put uh, page one I changed the title to the page one uh, in this I'm going to kind of to change the background uh, color using some uh, a slider. So what I'm going to do, I put it the main page and here I'm going to insert a, actually a controller or a slider over there. So I put a slider here and I changed the name yeah, slider one. So as you see slider one is actually it has some value. The minimum is zero. The maximum I put it to, to five. Uh, why I'm going to do that because if you click on the white screen here you see the background is actually has the value so it has except four values and the maximum value is 255 actually so I need to change it to 255 now one so this is the maximum one and the current value is 50 I'm just going to create another one and for this one the same I just put it 100 this one create the second one and I put it for example the value about 180 so I just want to have different value here so this is my slider now I want to actually to change the color behind the scene using that so what I'm going to do I'm click on the white area here click here then for the first value I use the slider so if I write slider, so this is my slider one, this is the slider one dot uh, value. For the second one, uh, slider 101 dot value. And for the third one, slider two dot 
value and also I want to kind of mention in that it should be uh, because I changed that one so I just 100 percent so this actually is going to uh, change the slider one so we can just leave it as one so now uh, if I push the control one and I change it you see that the color behind the scene is going to change based on that so it's easy actually I create a slider that able to show that one so now for example I want to see that what number I have here so what I'm going to do I'm going to add a label on that so click on the label uh, for the label I want to show slider one dot value I want to show that one so this is the one for the second one the same but I want to show the slider one one value and the same for the other one the last one so I want to show number two so that's a one so now imagine that I have another page I'm going to create another page here so it's a blank one and I call it page two or page one whatever and I also want to change the color based on that so what I'm going to do I'm just simply copy the code here and I'm going to replace it here so you also control by that one so for example if I push I change the color here you can see the color of this page also is going to change so this is really interesting you see that is actually uh, has the concepts of the Excel formula here so be able to change the color and impact in the different image together and also for example i want to navigate from the one page to the other one so the same process kind of the, the same concepts i can set so i'm going to put an icon for example this one to show the next value and for the value i'm going to write navigate that means that any one click on that i want to navigate to uh, page this page and also copy that one and back here i want that everyone comes to this page is almost if i click on that is going to navigate to the main page which is this one so now let's run it so i'm going to run it so these are the color i'm changing you see that how it's changed now if i go to the next page is that and i'm able to back here so you see that how is actually easy to manage everything here you can also have a separate page to uh, control everything over there and you can have a kind of the master page uh, that shows this controller over there and control and have a same template for your microsoft power app thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed thank you